Hey and welcome back to another Dark Fall tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at shape keys, so it can help you change one shape to another. It'll also help you dilate pupils if you followed along the sci-fi eye tutorial one. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Let's first align the camera by pressing number pad 1, and then control alt number pad 0. And let's shift A, add a plane. I want this plane to face the camera, so press R to rotate, then X, and then 9, 0. And we can scale this up as well. Okay, so what we want to do is change this square into a circle. So we press T to bring up the toolbar, and then also tab to go into edit mode. We actually want to add some subdivisions to this, so in the tool section, come down to subdivide. We also want to increase the amount of cuts. The more cuts we give this, the better the circle will look in the end, but I'm just going to give it six for now. So now we want to turn this into a circle, and the way we can do that is by using an add-on. So come to file, then user preferences, and select add-on. We want to search for loop tools. So these loop tools here is very useful. I usually have this for standard, so I'm just going to check that and then save user settings if you want to keep it around. So now we've got that under the tool tab, we come all the way down here, we've got loop tools. And we've got quite a few different tools that you can use, um, but the one we want for now is circle. So we can just hit that and it works as a standard. We just want to press Ctrl Z because we actually want to animate it going from a square to a circle. So the way we do that is using the shape keys. So over here in the object data panel, I think it's called. Object data. So the one we want, we get rid of this one, get rid of that. We want to use the shape keys. So if we hit the plus button, and this will be the very first shape, the base shape that it is. Now we need to hit the plus button again, and this will be the new shape that we want it to be. So let's rename this to circle. And now if we hit We'll make sure you select the circle, the new one, the new shape key, hit um, tab to go into edit mode. And then if we turn this into a circle now, and then tab, well, let's just get rid of the toolbar, tab back out of it, it'll be just back to a square. And the reason that is it's using the basis, we actually need to animate this value here. So right now it's at zero, and if we increase it to one, it becomes a circle. And again, it's uh, it needs more subdividing, it needs a bit more subdivision, but I don't think that works for now. So what we need to do is actually animate this. So on the, on the first frame, we can hit I to add a keyframe and then jump to say frame 80, add a keyframe, value one, and we can animate it to a circle. So the same thing can be done for pretty much every shape, uh, any object that you add in, add a shape key to it. So I'm just gonna add a circle now. out of edit mode and again if we animate this value here we can it'll be changing the shape so let's also name this and you can add as many shape keys as you want uh, just keep adding them they, they may have some trouble later on if you add if you have all the shape keys active at once they could mess the, the whole shape up so you have to be careful um, how you use the shape keys But if you animate the values, you should be okay. Okay, so let's start by animating these. Same thing by pressing I to add a keyframe. Jump to frame 8 to increase the value to 1. Press I to add a keyframe. Same for this one. And now it will change the shape. So you mean you can pretty much make any shape you want and transform one shape to another. It depends on you. Um, so what we're going to do now is add the how to dilate the pupils. So I'm going to just add a circle here. So I'm just going to quickly show you now how you can do the dilate, dilation for the pupils. So you would have already set up the circle if you've followed along in the previous tutorial. Um, so I'm just going to try and recreate that now. Okay, so I'm also just going to quickly add a texture like we did in the previous tutorial. 
and this texture can be downloaded, there will be a link in the description if you want to use it. Feel free to use it. Okay, so if you did follow along in the previous tutorial, you should have already something like this. And what we want to do is actually animate the, the shape keys. Okay, so like before, we just want to go over to the object data panel. And then down here to shape keys, add the base, and then add a new one. You can call this whatever you want. I'm going to just say dilate. Okay, so now if we uh, hit tab, go into edit mode, and what we want to do, we want to select these faces here, this middle selection of faces, so let's just select face select mode, we want to select all of these, so what we can do, if we hit uh, C, it'll bring up um, a selection tool, so it's a press C to, bring, to select all these, and now also if we hit O to bring up to enable proportional editing, it doesn't matter which fall off type you use, um, I'm just going to use this one. So now if we hit S to scale, well you might need to scroll up and down on your middle mouse wheel. Um, and you'll get the dilation effect. But we want to make it a little bit more, so what we want to do is press Ctrl R to add some loop cuts. And just press uh, scroll up on the mouse wheel to add quite a few loop cuts. And then so now if we do the same thing again, press C, and just select all these faces. And we'll make sure it's in face select mode. And now if we scale it up, and scroll up and down on the middle mouse wheel, we'll get a little bit of a better effect. Say something like this. Tab back out of it. And again, we just want to animate this value here. So this was a quick tutorial on how to use shape keys. Um, hopefully it helped. If it did, be sure to give it a like. And yeah, thanks for watching.